So it's this whole unity of humanity. And then Allah says the, the, the criteria for anybody to have honor is in akramakum in the atqakum. The the one who is the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has the most taqwa. So that that is how we, the things are divided up. And so what bothered me, the reason the subject was brought up yesterday, I heard somebody who I thought was a scholar, and they, 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 they linked, you know, they, they divided Islam into so many different pieces. SubhanAllah, they, they, uh, it really bothered me. I thought about it, and SubhanAllah, uh, uh, that, that, you know, the, the, the whole idea is to bring people together, uh, not to divide them. And, and, and sometimes we, we, we find issues that divide us, and, and, and we strongly, in fact, this person indirectly linked the aqidah to the division of being a Sun, a Hanafi, and, and I said, what's going on over here? So, so today, inshallah, we'll talk about some ayahs, uh, and they're important. Uh, and uh, Surah Al-Hujrah, Surah number 49, inshallah, tell us if you open it up, and those of you who do not have the Quran, please get a copy of the Quran. It'll help you, because I'm not a scholar, uh, you have to work with me, inshallah, because so get a, get a Quran with the translation. We would not bother Brother Zahid all the time. We'd ask other people to read this translation also. He does it, mashallah, all the time. Surah 49. And if somebody can wake up Brother Abdul Malik in the back over there, he's hiding in the back. What surah is that? Surah 49, Surah Hujrat. Yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> and we'll start with ayah number inshallah ta'ala. Auzubillah min ayah number 11 inshallah ta'ala. Ayah number 11. أعوذ بالله السميد لي من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا يسخر قوم من قوم أساء أن يكونوا خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء أساء أن يكون خيرا منهم ولا تلمزوا أنفسكم ولا تنابزوا بالألقاب بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الإيمان ومن لم يتب فأولئك هم الظالمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعد الظن اسم ولا تجسسوا ولا يكتب بعضكم بعدا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لهم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموا واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم يا أيها الناس إن خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وكبائر لتعرفوا إن أكرمكم إن الله أتقاكم إن الله ليم خبير صدق الله الذين so can you read the translation of ayah number 10, 11, brother Zahid, you can start. O you who believe, let not some men among you laugh at others. It may be that the latter are better than the former, nor let some women laugh at others. It may be that the latter are better than the former, nor defame, nor be sad. Ill-seeming is a name, connoting wickedness to, to be used of one after he has believed. And those who do not desist are indeed doing wrong. Jazakallah khairan wa'azubillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the believers. And this is, this, is a, this is one surah where there are 17 ayahs and there are five yahu lazi namanu. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he addresses the believers, the Sahaba of Rasulullah Sallallahu they used to say that uh, Abdullah ibn Masood says that when we heard Yahya Lazina Amanu, our ears would perk up. We would listen to it carefully because Allah was addressing us. Either He was ordering us to do something or He was stopping us from something. So in this case, Allah SWT is stopping Yahya Lazina Amanu, La Yaskhar Qawm Min Qawmin, Asa Yakunu Khairam Minhum. A group of people should not make fun of another group. A group of people should not make fun of another group. And that basically implies that a group of people should not assume that they're better than the other group. As Allah says, Asa yakunu khairam minum. It is possible that the group that you're making fun of are better than you. 
So imagine this, 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 these ayahs are being revealed in Medina, but the kuffar of Quraysh are there. In Medina, there are a lot of, you know, Aus and Khazraj used to fight with each other. There, there, there are a lot of enmities because of tribal pride. Because, of, you know, people would talk about, they, they would have poetries about their, their, you know, how noble they were. And uh, these ayahs are, are being revealed because they would, they would make fun of people. These, these are, you know, they, they would say, how can we talk to these people? Uh, even even uh, if you think about Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Surah Al-Ahqaf, no, yeah, in one of the places, Allah says that, that these people were arguing that couldn't Allah find the word is, in these Khariyatai and Yazim, that, that, that these two cities, couldn't Allah find somebody more better than, than, than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, an orphan? So, so the, the whole idea essentially is, you know, the, the one group of people does not have any superiority over another group of people just because of their nobility. And, and, and if, if we can just, in our society, if we can remove this particular disease of me being better than you. A lot of times when we correct people, how do we correct people? Our correction is telling people what to do because we, I know better than you. I am better than you. And that, 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 that is the start of, of a distraction because then you're not correcting somebody. It's, it's, not, it's not improving somebody. It is actually a distraction because that person will say, why, do you, why, do you think, why should I assume that you're better than I am? So, so, so the, 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 this, this takes care of the ethnic issues. This takes care of all of the different cultural and language issues uh, where, 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 we, where we divide people up. Uh, when I was living in Houston, not Houston, I was living in Beaumont actually, right? but if you go to Houston quite a bit, at one time they started the, this whole issue of uh, Arabs and non-Arabs. SubhanAllah, the Indio Indian Pakistani community and Arabs, there were two sides. And then the, once that was resolved, the, the next issue was among, among Indians and Pakistanis, Hyderabadis and Punjabis. Where do you stop? Uh, honestly, you, you, they, 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 when, when you start with, 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 on the cycle, then, then you've lost track. Because the, the whole idea, then, 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 then you know, uh, so, so who should control the masjid because this person is a Punjabi or this person is such and such, subhanAllah, uh, and then we've lost the, the whole spirit of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu brought people together. I mean, think, of, think, about, the, 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 think about Salman al-Farsi, radiallahu anhu. He traveled all the way from Iran, became a slave in the process, found the, 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 found the, 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 the about Rasulullah Sallam from a Christian priest. He, he went to three different priests actually, he stayed with them. And the third one told him that among, among, among our group there are no good people left, you will find this Nabi that is going to come and he de 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 described the city of Medina and described, uh, gave him the signs of Nabu also. Salman Farsi comes to Medina as a slave of, of a Jewish landlord. They say he's up the, he was up the tree and he heard the landlord and his brother and cousin talking about this Nabi that is going to come to Medina. And he <laughs> heard that and he fell down the tree. And he, he, he tested the Prophet ﷺ on three different things, on sadaqah and, and uh, the number, it's a very interesting issue. But Salman Farsi was a respected Sahabi of Rasul ﷺ who could challenge other Sahaba and they would listen to him. He was the one who told Umar la sama wa la ta'a during the khutbah because he was wearing a, 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 piece, a piece of cloth that was made out of you know, two pieces uh, and then everybody was given one piece. Bilal radiallahu anhu. So have a room, right? So Rumi, right? He was, he was also a Sahabi. Allah describes an ayah in the Quran uh, the, the, about him that, that you know, the, those who, what is the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah? Uh, there's an ayah about him that the, 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 those who sold themselves for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they, they made a good bargain. So the Prophet set an example of this community that was totally colorblind, totally ethnic desensitized. Somebody made fun of Bilal radiallahu an, called him the son of the black mother and 
Bilal complained, the Prophet was upset, and this, this Sahabi, this is not a common person, and he put his face on the, on the ledge of the masjid. And he said, Bilal, put your foot on my face and forgive me. That is the change that the Prophet brought about. It, it, is, not, it, is, not, it is a revolution actually. A peaceful revolution that changed the hearts of the people. And then we, we go back to this, this old business of Jahili again. Where, where we, we, we think, I am better than this person, my ethnicity, my language, my color, my nobility, my family. So Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cut down to the roots of the, of the problem. And the, the root of the problem was that nobody has any superiority. If you look at the last khutbah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the black person has no superiority over the white person. The white person has no superiority over the black person, the red person. He, he gave it the whole detail. I, I, I tell my Sunday school class, I said, read this khutbah and you will like, you'll understand the human rights in Islam. No, 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 no prefer, preference over Arab or an Ajam or, or vice versa. SubhanAllah, the, the, the Prophet Wasallam resolved those issues for us and we go back to the jahiliya. We go back to the same jahiliya. We, 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 from being from Pakistan, we, we, we divided the whole country because of that. We divided the whole country. Because we did not adhere to the principles of Islam, and this, so I'm better than you, issue came up. So, Yahi Lazin Amanu La Yaskhar Qawmum Min Qawmin Asa An Yakunu Khairam Min Hum. And with, with great uh, sadness, I say that, uh, uh, that uh, in, in, uh, even in our masajid, among religious people, you would find terms being used for African-American brothers that are not good terms. I mean, I, I've, I've heard them. I mean, people who, who are practicing Muslims. There's no reason to put... Uh, you, you would find that these people who come to Islam in America they're better than us, literally. I've, I've seen them better than us. They, they, they have thought about the religion, they have accepted Islam, and they, 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 if you sometimes look at their, their, their practice and their taqwa, you, you, you say, this brother is better than I am. Yes. Yeah. My, my recollection is that I was new to Islam back in the 80s, and uh, there was one sister who needed a loan. And so the, 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 there was a masjid on Magnolia Street in Beaumont, Texas. Uh, the imam of that was an African-American guy, Imam Jameed, I can't think of his name right now. Beautiful guy. And he came over to decide on the contract of the loan. And for the first time in my life, I, I heard this ayah, that when you make a contract, a loan contract, write it down. I, Subhanallah, he taught us something. Because the, the people who came to Islam, came to Islam with, with, uh, with seriousness. They looked at the Quran as the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we raise the Quran, we read the Quran because of barakah sometimes only. If there is barakah, of course, there's no question about that. <coughs> but the Quran is a book of guidance. And, and these people who came to Islam were, were guided by the Quran and they, 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 they wanted to follow the Quran. And so they, then, subhanAllah, then sometimes we, we, we say terms that are derogatory about them. We can disagree with people. I mean, there, there can be disagreements among any group of people. And, but disagreement can be resolved with Quran and Sunnah only. But if you, if you resort to, 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 to the color of the skin, the ethnicity, the culture, then we have destroyed ourselves. We have destroyed ourselves. And, and, and uh, so, so it is important that, that we become an all-inclusive community, all-inclusive community rather than excluding people. Uh, we cannot exclude people. And we, sometimes we exclude people because of the fiqh that they follow. Uh, the, the, this person is, is Shafi. It's one, the, 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 nothing to do with Yaqeedah. So, Yahya Lazina Amanu La Yas Badr. Yeah. 
Yes, so, so, so the, 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 there's a lot, lot of history behind it, but w w w the thing that we need to do is to change our communities, change ourselves. So the change would not come from above. The change can come from, come from within us. The Prophet ﷺ told us that when you do a walima, I think there's a hadith of Prophet and correct me if I'm wrong, <coughs> to invite all elements to society. A walima should have poor people and rich people. So sometimes we, when we have walima, we invite only our rich friends, people who are the same status. That, and we forget the people who, 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 who are less fortunate than us. So, so discrimination can take place in terms of you know, ethnicity, color, wealth, social status. All of these things can come into play. And Islam removed these things from us. Islam gave us a criteria that was quite different. We still go back to Jahiliya. We still go back to the same school, school of thought where we, you know, I'm better than you, my, my family is better than you, I, my family owned land, whatever the case was. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this particular case, the scholars say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the order to Yahya Lazina Amanu, then said, Wala nisa'um min nisa'in, asa'in yakunna khairam minhun. Allah, Allah especially addressed the women because sometimes that, that pride is there, uh, you know, our, our sisters have their pride also and they, 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 they can be very torturous to each other also. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cut down the, the, this whole, the, the root of, of the problem uh, by, by, by reminding us that you, you do not know who is better than you. You, you. you have no right to claim that you are better. What is the ayah in Surah al not, not Qabar but uh, Najm? Fala uh, tuzakku wa nfasakum. Do not, do, not, do not think that you are pure. He knows who is taqwa. Allah knows who is taqwa. So we cannot assume that, 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 you know, that this person is worse than us because they may have more taqwa than we do. <coughs> and and that, that is the criteria. So it's very important that, you know. Uh, but alhamdulillah, one, one positive sign that, that, that I've, I see, and I'm sure some of you have observed it also, that our children do not have the same baggage. That they're better than us because they, when, when I see them, when I see them, they, 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 when they get together, they, they have other issues, mashallah, we, we need to work with those. But in this area, alhamdulillah, they don't have the same baggage. Uh, where, where, where you see them, they, 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 they don't, you know, they, they're hanging out you know, they, 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 with, with people of different ethnicity, different backgrounds. They, you don't see a difference. Uh, I was at a Walima of a young man, a very good brother, and he invited all of his friends. I was probably the only one who was among the, uh, the uncles. <laughs> so the rest were all non-uncles, maybe, maybe a couple of uh, other people. And I was watching them, and I saw that essentially these younger people do not have the same baggage. They, 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 they can associate with people without thinking about their color, without thinking about their background, where they are from, all of those things. Uh, so uh, uh, alhamdulillah, that, 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 is, that is a positive sign. And we need to learn from that, inshallah ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in this ayah, what, what is Talmezu? What is, what is the word Talmezu mean? Where, where, where you see this word before? Where the, brother Ayaz, can you remember a surah which, where this word is? What is the meaning of Lomaza? Look at Surah Al Lomaza also, so see, see what you find. Lomaza, right. What is, what is the translation? What is the translation? No, backbiting is a different one. Yes, that, is, that comes right, right after that. This is worse than backbiting. Slandering. slandering. What is slandering? You lie about somebody. You make up a story. Because a lot of times, you know, people assume things. When somebody, they see something happening and they make assumptions. And they spread the assumptions also. Do not make assumptions because when you make assumptions, because that will come also over here in the next ayah. Uh, that, but, but the idea is when, when you slander people, you have done worse than backbiting. Because the, the honor of a Muslim is, is more important than the, the Prophet Sallallahu one time, uh, brother, help me out. Uh, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi one day asked the Sahaba what day is it, it is. This was the Yom of uh, Yom Al Hajj, uh, the, uh, and then he said, "What city this is?" And all of this, they were in Makkah, sacred city, sacred day. Uh, 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 and what else did he ask? Something else. And then, then, he, then he asked. He said, "The life and honor of a Muslim is more honored 
than this day, than this city and this place. So the honor of the Muslim is very important. And, 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 and it's sort of a, a practical example, at least in my mind. You go to the Kaaba and you want to kiss the black stone. What do you do? You push other people so hard sometimes that you can hurt them. Honestly. Now, what is more important, the, the life of this other Muslim, the harm that you're causing to him or her in order to kiss this black stone? SubhanAllah, that, that, to me, that, that doesn't make any sense. The, 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 uh, another Muslim who's there is more honored than, 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 than it's more important than kissing the black stone. There are other ways of, 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 of showing your respect to, uh, to the black stone, but, but, uh, but basically it does not allow us to harm another Muslim, to harm another Muslim. And, and this, this is the time when our Iman is tested. You know, we, we are so, you know, we think that this is so important that, 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 that I should do this, that we don't care who gets hurt in the process. So, so the honor of the Wala Talmizu Anfusakum, Allah says, Wala Talmizu Anfusakum. Do not slander yourself because when you slander somebody, you're actually doing it to yourself. So, so, so be very careful in how we talk about another Muslim. We can talk about issues. This issue is bad, this issue is right, this issue is wrong. But as a person, we should not be assuming that they are inferior to us or superior to us. Wow, subhanAllah, what titles do we give to each other? At least, uh, 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 at least in the last 20 years, because of this whole issue of political correctness in America, we are careful, which is good, because the, the, we were taught these things 1400 years ago. Uh, over here, the political correctness came in last 20 years ago, that, that we were careful, on, on, you know, we, we call people challenged rather than being handicapped, right? So, so we don't make fun of people based on their physical handicap and other things. But Islam taught us this lesson hundreds of years ago. To me, that, that is, that Islam was, is a very progressive religion. It was then and today. Because even now we, we fall back, when you hear some of the speeches, political speeches now, we are falling back into the same period where we insult each other, whether they be you know, other, any group of people. Subhanallah. Uh, so, so, so it's important that, that in Islam taught us not to give nicknames that are offensive to people. Okay, it's very important. Sometimes if you joke with each other and among friends, uh, if there's a nickname, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. Okay, uh, as long as the purpose is not to hurt somebody. Uh, the people, people, people who are friends can, can, can joke with each other and th that is okay. But when you give them nicknames that are hurtful, that people do not like, then in that case we should, we should cease and desist actually. We should stop doing that because Allah says, So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the, these ayahs are really, the, the, if you think about uh, these ayahs 1400 years ago, were a revolution and they're still a revolution actually. Think about the, think about the, the, the Kabila of Quraysh. They, they thought they were the best people, they were superior to everybody else. And, and, and Allah SWT is reminding them to not do these things. So, 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 so Islam was bringing about a social revolution, a social revolution. And unless we become part of the social revolution, our Islam would not be complete in, in that sense. So society has to change. Islam is not just uh, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is very important. This is all part of worship, to, to respect another human being, to, take, to care, take care of another human being, to not to hurt another human being is part of being a Muslim. Part of being a Muslim. Probably so, but I, I cannot think of any quotation, but the Prophet <coughs> 
one of one of the, one of the, one of the things that he was sent out with to to to, to fulfill the makarim of akhlaq to complete the makarim of akhlaq so the prophet sallallahu uh, alaihi wasallam taught us the best of manners allah says innaka la ala khuluq nadim so uh, uh, no question that other prophets were the best example of character no question about that uh, you know no argument on that one but but in, in terms of clarifying the teachings uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had to, to me basically if you think about it uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam completed the religion of musa alaihi salam and isa alaihi salam uh, if you think about if you think about musa and isa alaihi salam being two great prophets musa alaihi salam uh, brought the law the torah isa alaihi salam taught forgiveness the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam combined the law and forgiveness together so to me the, 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 that 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 there was the progression of the anbiya and the rasul uh, the, the message progressed and it was completed with muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yes brother jazakallahu khairan if you look at the quran they, they, they're always the address is ya qaumi ya qaumi all all of mankind all of mankind all of humanity jazakallahu khairan mashallah i always feel comfortable with the nabi is in the audience because he helped me out quite a bit because <laughs> the, the, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was for all of humanity and the, 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 there were differences in cultures and so prior to that ya qaumi every nabi except for isa alaihi salam who said ya bani israil <laughs> he he was he was basically sent down to the lost sheep of israil uh, but, but the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam completed the the, the 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 mission of musa alaihi salam and completed the mission of isa alaihi salam and all of the other anbiya before him uh, so so the, and that, that is why i think one of the reasons his life is well documented his life is well documented by number of different people his wives his sahaba uh, it's a well documented life because he was supposed to show us the the, the best of akhlaq the best of character and the quran actually if you, if you look at the quran in many places takes the, a term and defines that character if you look at uh, surah furqan the last part by ibadur rahman allah says ibadur rahman and then all of the other ayahs after that are the characteristics of ibadur rahman qad aflaha al mu'minun 11 ayahs or so right after that are the characters of the mu'minun illa al musallin in surah marij right after that are the characteristics of those who pray so 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 the, the quran actually describes the character of different types of people uh, allah says innahu kanu min zalika muhsinin and right after that the, the characters of the muhsinin so so muttaqin same same thing so so in different places allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described the character of different types of people muttaqin muhsinin these are not empty words these words have specific characteristics associated with them person cannot be muttaqi a mohsin a momin unless they have these characteristics or ibadur rahman unless they have these characteristics so so ya ayyuhallazina amanu la yaskhar qaumun min qaumin asa an yakunu khairan minhum wala nisaa'un min nisaa'in asa an yakunna khairan minhum wala talmizu anfusakum wala tanabazu bil alqab based on this mul fusuq ba'd al iman that says it is it is it is worse to to fall into this disobedience after iman so once you have believed that part should change that part should change wa man lam yatub fa ulaika hum zalimun and whosoever does not make tauba after that does not desist from that that person is among those who are zalimun those those who are unjust to themselves any any comments any any anything else on this particular ayah Abdul Malik are we good? The 
نیکسٹ آیا اللہ الذین آمنوا اجتنبوا کثیرا من الظن ان بعد الظن اسم اجتنبوا اجتناب is to avoid right brother Zahid what is the translation avoid suspicion when you, you suspect people and then you make up a story right you, you, you start with suspicion and you make up a story behind that and that is what, that is what leads to slander that we talked about earlier so, so it's very important that, that we you know uh, then Allah says right after that wala tajassasu also the, the Urdu word is jasusi right what does jasusi mean you know spying on people right <laughs> Or being, you know, being ex- excessively nosy. One of the issues that, that one brother taught me is very important. He said, when you ask somebody how much money they make, one person is going to feel bad. Right? So, so why, why, why go through that? Always make dua for the other brother. May Allah give them barakah, inshallah. What Allah has written for you, you're going to get. And what Allah has written for them, they're going to get. Why worry about that part? And just because somebody has more money does not make them a better person or a worse person, right? So th- th- this whole idea of, of Zan is, is assuming things. You see one thing and you, you, you think you're smart enough to put all the threads together and come up with a story. I saw this and I think this is why it happened. You know, when, when, you, when you do this, then you've made up a story. And then sometimes the story doesn't remain with you only. It goes to other people also. So, so just because you see one action, do not assume that you know the whole story. Uh, an interesting documentary. I'm sure some of you have watched it in your, uh, at your work and training. It's not right. It's actually a movie, actually. It's called 12 Angry Men. Anybody seen that? Anybody seen that? <laughs> no, if you, if this, is, this is worth watching, actually. It, it shows... It shows I knew Brother Isa was going to say that. Don't get me started on that. Don't get me started on that. I was a bit that. But, but the, the, this 12 Angry Men movie shows a group dynamics where it's a jury of 12 men. And this, uh, the case that they're, they're, they're going to decide on appears to be an open and shut case. I watched it a long time ago, so correct me if I'm wrong. But they decided, that, 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 yeah, this is, the evidence is there. We can convince this person. This one person keeps on asking questions. And finally, they come to the conclusion that this person that they're going to convict is actually innocent. It's, it's a very interesting group dynamics. I mean, they, they teach you how to run meetings, actually, how to, you know, get, get to, you know, to get to the, the, the whole idea is to get to the truth. But when, when, we, when we do zan, we go, get, go away from the truth. So, so, so the idea is get to the truth. Don't, don't, don't assume things. Uh, and if you don't know it, don't, don't say it. You'll be responsible for it. If you don't know it, don't say it. And I remind myself because we all fall into that trap. We all fall into that trap. If you don't know it, don't say it. Don't assume things. Don't assume, especially negative things. You can assume good things. Okay? So the Prophet told us that you can find 70 excuses for your brother. What does that mean? What is that? Ahasan Ahasan Uzzan. So, so, so if, even if you see something wrong, if somebody is late to the masjid, except when Brother Rafi is there, but then, then you can give him a hard time. <laughs> but, but essentially, maybe, maybe there was traffic, maybe something happened. Maybe, so, so, don't, don't, uh, sometimes we, 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 we go start with the negative first. He's always late to the masjid. He does not pray on time. You know? And, and, and I, 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 we all, and I'm reminding myself, we all fall into the same trap. We all fall into the same trap. May Allah protect us from that. Because, because, you know, we, it's easy to assume negatives about other people, difficult to assume positives. Uh, but but the, the, there may be a lot of positive things you don't know. So, 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 so first of all, in Nabada Zanni Ism, some, some of the assumptions that you make can actually lead to sin. And then, do not, do not spy, 
not be overly concerned about, you know, something is going on in somebody's family and you always, you know, be careful, be careful, uh, because the, uh, unless your goal is to improve things, I mean, if, you, if somebody is a close friend of yours and you want to find out to help them out, it's a different story. Yes, Brother Isa. Next time, a real sheikh is here, you can ask them their question, okay? <laughs> no, I, I do not know. Honestly, I haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it. So I, if I gave you the answer, it would be just a made-up answer. So, like I said, if you find out, let me know, inshallah. <laughs> ta'ala. Jazakallah, yeah, good story. Class, please. Right. And Umar backed off, right? Umar. Jazakallah khair. But the, 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 the greatness of Umar is alone. <coughs> he was, of course, a scholar, but he backed off. He backed off, subhanAllah. <coughs> Umar al one, one time was, was, was trying to limit the amount of mehr. And one sister, lady, read an ayah from Sultan Nisa, I believe that even if the mehr is, is kintar, then, then you have to give. And, and she said, if Allah did not put a limit on it, how can you put a limit? And Umar backed off. Huh? Yeah. That did not, yeah, even if it's a, it's a hoard of gold, did, the gold do not back. So Umar, this is the character of the Muslim. Uh, you know, when you see Haq, you accept it. <laughs> you, 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 that is what the takabur is when you when you say, you know, this this lady. You know, if Umar could have said, right and Umar is wrong. he said she is right and I'm Umar is wrong. Uh, but takabur would be what? I am Umar. How could I be wrong? This old lady. So that that that, that is the character that the Prophet it really so that, that really fits into our. Uh, a theme that this this whole idea, and, and I tell people, don't look at who's saying it, look at what is being said. Okay, so especially when Brother Ibrahim talks about fasting later on, do not make fun. Okay, because because really, uh, uh, don't, uh, mashallah, uh, he has good reminders for us, mashallah, and that goes for you, Brother Rafi, also. Don't don't talking in the class, okay. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان. سجاه الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الزن إن بعض الزن اسم ولا تجسسوا ولا يقطب بعضكم بعضا. And the brother was mentioning this. This يقطب is is backbiting. This is talking something negative about a person behind their back. Allah says أيهب أحدكم أن يأكل اللحم أخيه ميتا فكرتم. Allah said, Does any of you love? To eat the meat of your brother after he's dead, flesh of his brother, you you, you yourself feed you, 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 you don't like the idea. So so the, my teacher used to say that you know uh, when 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 you, you talk about somebody and they're not there to defend themselves, it's like you are you 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 are scratching on their flesh. So, 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 you know, and even it is not just saying something, even listening to the conversation. If, you, if the conversation is going on where there is backbiting, we should try to stop it or walk away from it. Try to stop it or walk away from it. Okay? Because I thought about this whole thing. I said backbiting does not solve any problems. If you, if you think somebody has something wrong, talk to them. Advise them that, that that will help them, right? But if you talk behind their back, you've not solved any problems. All that you have done is you have earned sin. 
Okay. So, so again, a good reminder for all of us, inshallah ta'ala, in our conversations, when we talk about somebody else, be careful. Be careful. You can say good things about them behind their back, but saying negatives about them behind their back is not allowed. It's not allowed. Even listening to the conversation. Because it's, 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 it's a societal disease that we cannot get out of. Both sisters and brothers. And this is sometimes... A, that is our topic of conversation. Somebody else, somebody else's business, somebody else's household, somebody else's family, and the conversation goes on and on. وَلَا يَكْتَبْ بَعْدُكُمْ بَعْدَ أَيُّهِبُّ أَحَدُكُمْ مَنْ يَأْكُ لَلَّهَ مَنْ أَخِيهِ مَيْتًا فَكَرْهِتُمُ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَوَّابُ الرَّحِيمِ Have taqwa of Allah, and Allah is tawwab and rahim. He is off forgiving, and He is the most merciful. Very important subject over here that, that you know, but it, it is not just reading the ayah, it is actually putting these ayahs into practice. When we go up from here and have breakfast, be careful of what we say about the other person or other brother. Uh, you know, it's very important. Uh, we can all fall into that trap. And then, you know, it's an easy trap to fall into. And then, as I said earlier, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayah number 13 gives us the general rule about all human beings. Ya yuhannas, O mankind, inna halakna kum min dakari wa unsa. You have all been created through one male and one female. So the father and the mother of all of mankind are the same. And that is why, you know, you can disagree with, with your Christian friends. You should still should not look down upon them. <laughs> I mean, you have respect for human beings. And you can, you can have disagreements, alhamdulillah, that's fine. But have respect for another human being. And, and, and one, one reminder to myself and everybody else, inshallah ta'ala, have respect for another driver on the road. When we drive also, sometimes we have no respect for the other person. Uh, and, 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 uh, because we all, we all, especially if you come into the masjid, you want to rush. Uh, so, so we lose respect of the other human being and, and we, 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 we take away the right and if we do zulm on them, we have to resp we are responsible for that also. If you cut off somebody or do something illegal and harm another, another person, we are responsible for that also. Because this is, all humanity is from one ma mother and one father. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described, Allah says, Inna akramakum in the Allahi atkakum, the one who is most honored, so the, 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 the criteria for honor is the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.